hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl IJ if this is your first time watching me you're welcome to this video so in this video I'm just going to show you guys how I take off my makeup and it's a very simple and easy process it doesn't require a lot so um, I'm going to I'm also going to show you guys what I apply on my face after I take off my makeup Wow before I go to bed because I'm about to go to bed right now honestly it's really late I think it's about 9 p.m. so um, yeah so let me show you guys what I do so the first product that I'm going to use is this product right here by Clinique and this is the Clinique take off the um, cleansing balm this is a very very nice product it really it melts everything off your face see how much I've already used from the um, from the from the container so I'm just going to take out a little bit well not just a little bit just enough to like something like so and I keep this way below right there so I just put it on my face just like so then I use my fingers and I just rub it into my skin so once I have this all taken out I use a paper towel first and I get out most of the product Just like so. See how much product it as well. I use this sponge right here. I actually got this sponge from TJ Maxx. I really, really do like it. Then I also use the clinic. This is the clinic liquid facial soap. It's a very mild soap. It's very good for um, if you're one of those who have sensitive skin. It's really, really good. So I just take out a few pumps, just like that, and I just scrub my face with it, just so that I get all. Of the makeup, all of the makeup out of my skin as much as possible because you don't want no residue of makeup to be on your face because that's going to just block your pores and it's going to make you start having acne. See, when you use a makeup, you want to make sure that you um, take care of your skin as well because if you don't do that, then you have all that makeup right into your pores, and by the time you know it, you start having some kind of breakouts that you didn't even know where it was coming from. I really do like this sponge. It does a very good job in exfoliating as well. Then once I'm done with it, I just rinse it out. Rinse it out. Just with some warm water. So I just prefer to use my towel. I mean. Just rinse it again. Do the same thing. By the time you know it, the face is all clean. Now that my face is all clean, nice and ready to go, this is when I use my Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector and Optimizer. This right here, I'm very sure you guys have seen me use this before. I use this generously, I use it in the morning and at night and I'm I'm very sure that's why my skin feels much 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 better then I also go in now with a clinic even even better skin tone correcting moisturizer it's blood spectrum SPF 20 this right here you don't really have to use this as at night as well but I always I like the way my face feels after I use it it makes my face feel so soft and nice so I just do that and I'm gone. This. So this is called this is the glow ahead Illumina illuminating face oil and it's from Wonder Beauty. That's what I use. I just massage that into my skin. Forget your forehead. Most times you forget your forehead. And you like a swap. So that's it about this video. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope you're able to take something home. Let me know if there are any videos that you guys are interested in knowing and things like that. Thank you so much for watching this. Take good care of yourself. Remember you are the origin. Until then, stay blessed. Ciao.